Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the slip and slide tools. So these tools can be found over here underneath the razor tool. We have the slip, which is the Y for the shortcut to access it and then slide U. So we got Y and U to access those. And um, I have a clip I just brought in here. I'm just going to quickly, uh, well, actually, I want to show you something real quick here. So we learned about in the last couple of videos that if we hover to the end and we try to extend a video, a file, we can do that if there's available footage to extend. In this case, I brought the entire file in. So this is literally the beginning of the video and liter literally the end of the video. I can't go earlier than the beginning and I can't extend past the end. That just makes sense, right? But if I were to cut up a small portion of this video and then come in here and delete the start and the end, now this particular video clip does have a available footage I can go earlier into so I can extend it and make it longer without affecting the speed and we can see so if we, we put the playhead here we can extend this clip and see what's happening at this point that's important to know because the slip tool lets us do something similar if we look at the audio down here we can see kind of the audio of what's happening at this portion of the video and when we play it these don't have LEDs I'm not planning on putting LEDs on we can hear like what the audio is happening in there. And these are linked together. We know that because they have an underline under both of them. If they were unlinked, that would go away. We can do that by doing link unlink when we right click. Anyway, let's grab the slip tool and it creates this icon when we hover over a piece of footage. And if we just left click and drag like to the left, we see it changes sort of that audio and it's actually changing the video as well. We can zoom out and see what's happening in the video. It's changing what's happening without making the clip longer or shorter. And even if we were to grab another piece of footage like this, let's grab this and kind of sandwich it in between there. So now we've got some other footage. Let's take this and cut these. Uh, so now it'll play right here. It'll cut to this board. And then let's, that's even too long. Let's cut that again. drag these over to here oh we're really going crazy so it's just gonna play a short thing there and then jump to this video so it starts with this cuts to the board and then cuts to there well we can slide this so if we want instead of uh, this part of the video being shown if we want to show a different part we just um, come over here and grab the slide tool and then we can slide to a different part where maybe it's showing the underside of the board and now we can still play this and the clips that it's sandwiched in between are unaffected. So it's they're still the same length, they're still in the same location in our project. We've just used the slide tool to slide through the footage. But again, it only works if you have available footage to slide to and from. If you're using the full length of your video clip, then you can't slide, obviously, because there's nowhere to slide to, just like extending past the end of the video. So that is uh, doing the slide. Now let's go over, let's look at the slip because it's actually kind of similar too. So for slip, what it's going to let us do is just grab this clip and move it around within here. So the slip is sort of, it's going to, it's going to show the footage that the, this was covering over top of, and it's going to move it. So we, if we want this to be at the very beginning, we can just use the slip tool to slip it to the beginning. And now it's going to play this with its audio. And then it jumps over to this clip here. And so we can slip it anywhere in between or we can slip it to the end or in the middle and we don't have to worry about changing the length or making our changing the timing of our video so this works really well if you're doing a music video or trying to sync video or pictures to music uh, that can work well or if you're just trying to edit within a time constraint like a television commercial what you do is set your whole project length to 30 minutes or 30 seconds and then you know that's your window for your commercial so like the if the logo or whatever you have at the beginning of the or the end of the commercial you can do, uh, a lot a certain amount of time to that and then you can use the slip and slide to you know get around and stay within your time constraints one more cool thing i want to show you about the slip tool is that you can use it to do uh, sync audio sometimes your audio will become off with your video and i might make a dedicated um, tutorial showing how to fix that because there's different ways that it can be you might sometimes have to speed up or slow down either the audio or the video to correct that but if it's just off um, which my videos sometimes do because of this i'm using a dslr camera and sometimes it's like a half a second behind what's recording from my microphone right here 
And so sometimes I have to actually sync those two separately. And so this is one way you can do that. You just grab the slip tool. Uh, and so if your audio is off a little bit, it'll you'll see it talking on here. You purchase the Trezor Model T and then also... Wait, why did, oh, oh, I didn't unlink it first. So I got to unlink here. And, and then we'll slip just the audio and keep the video how it is. And then also how to set it up on Windows and also on Linux. So see my mouse moving one way and the audio is happening different. So you can use the slip tool to, to slip the audio back to the right port where it's supposed to be. And then play and see if you get it right. The Trezor Model T, and then so I'm still off a little bit, so we'll slip that. So how to set it up on Windows and also on Linux. Don't have a Mac right now to so that's even that's a little bit closer there. When you purchase the Trezor Model T. And then also anyway, so you you can see how the slip tool can be used in that case where you just are slipping the audio and then keeping the video how it is. And then once you get them locked in how you want, you just go to the pointer tool, select both by holding down Shift and clicking each one, right click and go to Link Unlink, and now they're linked and that audio is locked in. Uh, if you just have a single clip like this, you could even just move the clip physically like this, you can drag it around and move it. But if it's sandwiched in between other video clips, it makes much more sense to do the slide tool. Well, that's slip and slide guys. Uh, hope you found that informative. Leave your questions and comments below if you have any. Uh, if you have a specific type of video editing uh, question or a video you'd like me to make, feel free to leave that in the comments below as well. And look forward to seeing you in the next video.